Hey, Cindy. It's this watcher for any signs of discomfort. Maybe have your vet come out and oil her. The veterinarian can do whatever he needs to do, or she can give her whatever you would normally give. Okay, I hope that answers your question, and hopefully this won't be too bad. Okay, talk to you later. I honestly don't even know how I feel about filming this because I just, I really need to be in the moment and be focused on Crystal and paying attention to her. But at the same time, you guys are a part of this journey. It wouldn't make sense just to vlog the good stuff and not the bad stuff. So Crystal got out and she got into the chicken feed. Obviously, right away, I started panicking, freaking out, crying, calling everybody. Thankfully, she looks okay, but it doesn't happen right away. So I have to keep an eye on her. I called her repro. Pro vet, I called the actual vet. The most common thing would be colic, so I have to keep an eye out for any of the symptoms, as well as foundering. Right now, I'm on my way to the store to buy some ice. I have to soak her feet in ice water to prevent the founder or to just get ahead of it. She ate quite a lot of the chicken feed. I think it was about half a bag. This isn't a happy video, but it wouldn't make sense to just show you guys the good stuff all the time, especially on this journey, because you guys have been on this pregnancy journey with me since the beginning, and obviously she's pregnant, which adds so much more to the worry. I already cried. I already freaked out. It's been a little while since it happened. I spoke to the vets and everyone just says to keep her cool, keep her calm, and yeah, just kind of keep an eye on her. So like I said, I'm on my way to the grocery store to buy a bunch of bags of ice, a gallon of mineral oil just in case she starts colicking, even though I do plan on calling the vet as soon as it happens, but just in case they take a little while and I have, might have to do something, then I want to be able to have the mineral oil on hand. Now we're gonna head home and see how she's doing and hopefully she'll let me soak her hooves. Hi, baby. Hi, mama. How are you feeling? I love you. She's just been eating grass, walking around. She looks okay, but like I said, it doesn't happen right away, so I think I'm gonna sit out here tonight with her. But you see, she's eating all good things. All right, so I put two of the bags of ice in the freezer and I'm gonna go ahead and try and find some buckets that I can use to soak her feet. I found this one, perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna um, rinse her legs off a little bit and then I'll put the ice. actually never done this before I'm just going with the flow with what the vet said but I know that a lot of people do this so hopefully I'm doing it right I don't think this is gonna break all right hopefully she lets me do it Alright, so surprisingly she's doing really well. She finally let me put both feet at the same time. So, so far she's doing good. I've decided to just rinse her off while she stands here so she can cool off for a little while. Actually, I don't want her to move. I think I'm just gonna leave her alone. <laughs> We've got Brandy over here keeping us company. Are you keeping her company? Huh? Sweet girl. Such a sweet girl. She's just hanging out over here with us. We're gonna go for round two. Alright, so she's doing well. I thought I would kind of tell you guys what happened this morning. So I actually had put her in a stall 
No! Don't step out of it. So I had actually put her in a stall earlier today, but she started swaying and just like being impatient in the stall. She doesn't really like being in a stall, especially if her buddies are not near her. <laughs> so I decided to bring her back out here and I'll just keep an eye on her out here because stress is going to make everything worse. And I know with her being in the stall, it's just going to stress her out. So we're trying to keep the stress levels to a minimum. She's back in the pasture. I used up one bag of ice. I think I'll do another bag a little bit later. So far, she's still looking good. I'm gonna keep an eye on her for the rest of the day. Hopefully no signs of colic or foundering occurs, but I'll keep you guys updated. This is the bin she got into. As you can see, she completely broke into it. There's the chicken bag she pulled out. This is what she ate. I think it was like half a bag or less than half. And there was a little bag of chick feed as well in there. And I think she ate that too. Yep. This is what happened. So I grabbed my little chair and I'm just gonna be sitting out here for the rest of the day so I can keep an eye on her. I think I might pull an all-nighter as well just so she doesn't colic on me in the middle of the night and I don't notice. But to be honest, I'm feeling a lot better. She still hasn't shown known signs and it's been like four hours. I honestly don't know if she will. Plus, I've called both of her vets, the repro vet and her regular vet and they just kind of told me what to do and so far I've done it. So let's hope that she continues to do good and she won't colic or founder. I think later on today when I feed her, I'm gonna pour some mineral oil in her feed in case she does colic. All right, so it just stopped raining and she hasn't really laid down or anything like that. She still looks normal, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another round of the ice. It's been an hour since I did the last one. I'm just gonna go inside, grab it from the freezer and we'll do it all over again. So we've done the second bag of ice. I think I might go to the store a little bit later and buy some more. She's getting more and more impatient as we do it. So hopefully after this next break, she'll do a little bit better. She's doing good though. Like she's doing pretty good. Way better than I thought she would. She stands in the bucket for a while. Why did this happen, Bubba? Why? Hmm? Next up is the green. I'm gonna give her a little bit less than that, like that, I think that would be fine. Because if she is foundering, I don't wanna add more sugar. So instead of giving her what I usually give her, which is half a scoop, I'm just gonna give her a little bit less as like a taste, just to be safe. Now I'm just gonna add some water. And now I'm gonna add some mineral oil. And I'm gonna put a lot. That's good. That might have been a lot, but and it's good to keep her inside moist and stuff in case she colics. Now I'm just gonna mix this and I always use my sweat scraper. All right, so I mixed it and I wanna add a little bit more because I want it to be like a soupy texture just to get a lot of that mineral oil in her. Mix this some more. All right, that's good. So that was a little bit of a fail. She is such a picky eater and she didn't want to eat it at first and I had to hand feed it to her. But now, thankfully, she's eating it. She's eating it really slow, <laughs> but at least she's eating it. I think this would have worked better if it was just grain because grain is like irresistible to horses. But because this is like alfalfa, I think the oil kind of overpowers it. I had to take Brandy out of the paddock so she wouldn't eat Crystal's food because Crystal's kind of not interested in it at all. So Brandy's out there grazing. And this one is taking forever to finish, but she's eating quite a bit. Ugh, this is a mission. I'm actually hiding from her behind the trailer because whenever she sees me, she thinks I'm bringing her like her real food, her different food that actually tastes good, I guess. And she won't eat and she starts to sway like, you know, impatiently waiting for me to bring her more food. Um, so I'm hiding. 
it's already nighttime. I look like such a mess. I'm so dirty, but I think I'm gonna do one more ice bath. So I'm actually gonna head to the store and buy one more bag of ice. But honestly, she's looking okay. She's still like acting normal. She's eating, grazing, walking around, just being normal so I'm just gonna keep an eye on her throughout the night I think I'm gonna like come out like every hour so I won't be sleeping tonight but it's okay I rather make sure she's okay yeah let's head to the store I'm looking at her now and she's doing good walking around she's coming up to the car hi pretty girl I honestly don't know if I'm just going crazy like if I'm just being paranoid and thinking every little thing is something bad but like right now she was just breathing heavy and now I'm like wait is that like a bad sign that could be because she's colicking or she was just playing with Brandy I mean she's outside and they always like run around and play so she could be breathing heavy because of that or it can mean that the colic is like starting but I don't know I think I'm just being paranoid I'm like finding every little thing to pick on you know but I would rather be safe than sorry so yeah that's just what I got to do for the rest of the night is just keep an eye on her all right so I got the ice it's in the back seat <laughs> now let's head home there she is this flashlight is like so strong hi hi girls So far, so good. She's being a good girl. No, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Can you guys even see me? I don't even know. It's so dark. Thankfully, I'm not feeling the mosquitoes that much. Like, I'm always getting devoured by mosquitoes. So thankfully, I'm not feeling them yet. I hope I didn't just jinx it. She's doing so good. Hi. No. She like only stays if I'm right next to her. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pause for a little bit so I can focus on keeping her foot in the bucket and I'll see you guys a little bit later. All right, she's back in her pasture. Brandy's peeing over here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna head inside and check on her a little bit later. So I'm actually gonna put the flashlight to charge because I'm gonna need it throughout the night. All right, that's charging and we're good. I don't want to change just yet because I'm going to go out again soon, but I do kind of want to clean up my face. I feel like I'm full of dirt everywhere. Look at my face. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to do that. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, I still look disgusting, but it's better, better. It's actually 10.30 at night, so I think I'm going to check on her like every hour. I think I'll do 11.30 or 12. So I'll see you guys at like 11.30 or 12. All right, you guys, it's 11.30, and I'm just walking out to check on Crystal. Let's see how she's doing. There she is. Can you guys see her all the way over there? Hi, honey. How you feeling? Huh? How you doing, baby? She seems to be doing okay. She's over there bullying Brandy. So honestly, she seems to be doing good. Like she looks perfectly fine. So I'm gonna check again at around 2 a.m. and see how she's looking then. But I'm feeling good. She seems to be doing fine. So let's hope it stays that way. Hey guys, it's 1 a.m. and this is the second check of the night. I'm gonna go ahead and see how she's doing. She's over there eating grass. I don't know if you guys can see her all the way back there. She's just grazing, which is a good sign. I'm hoping nothing's happening tonight. It seems like nothing's gonna happen tonight. She's doing really well. She's probably annoyed by me bothering her and putting this flashlight in her face. Yeah, you guys, she looks really good. I'm so happy, yay! You're doing so good, honey boo boo. Oh, I'm sorry, I know the light is so bright. I'm trying to keep the harshest part of it away from your face. Did you drink some water? She has the electric water right here, which I can't monitor, but I put some water in this bucket over here as well, and it's already halfway gone. So that means she's drinking water. Have you been drinking water? Hmm? What's that little leaf sticking out of your mouth, huh? <laughs> is that a little stem sticking out? That means you've been munching, huh? Munching away all night. That's such a good sign. Brandy again peeing. 
I look so creepy. Okay, does that work? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, guys, she's looking really good. Like she looks perfectly fine. I hope I don't run into anything. I'm like blinding myself with this flashlight. I doubt she's gonna colic. I doubt it because I feel like it would have happened by now and she's been acting fine. Like usually the signs would be she wouldn't eat, she's not drinking water, she's pacing or rolling or nipping at her belly, but like she has no symptoms. I'm back at the light so I can take this flashlight out of my face. And she ate her food even though she took forever to eat it because she hated the mineral oil. I'm feeling good about it. I, I doubt she'll colic. I hope not. I hope I'm not jinxing it, but I doubt she will. So I don't think we'll have to call the vet tonight. Hey guys. So it's 2 a.m. now and Crystal's laying down, but so is Brandy. They usually do that, like they, they like to lay down at night. We've caught all of the horses doing this. They like to lay down as a herd together and she's doing it right now, but she doesn't seem to be rolling at all. She doesn't look like she's in pain. She just looks like she's resting. I don't know if you guys can see her laying down right there. She's looking at me. <laughs> They do this all the time, so that's why I'm not sure if I should worry or not. I'm honestly not gonna worry, just because I came here an hour ago and she was eating. And plus, they lay down like this all the time, so I think she's fine, but I'm gonna sit out here for a while. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Okay. Yeah, she just did a little roll there. Ugh. Okay, now I don't know what to do. You can see Brandy right next to her laying down too. I think I'm just gonna sit out here for a little while just to keep an eye on her. Hi baby, are you okay? Brandy's still laying down. Were you just resting? Don't scare me now. This light is so bright, you guys. Like, this is the best flashlight ever. And she doesn't seem to be in any pain or discomfort. I think I just kind of woke her up. <laughs> I thought I would come sit with Brandy for a little while. Hi baby, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? I'm sorry, this is so bright, I know. Crystal's coming to investigate. <laughs> Crystal is just being a weirdo over here. Hi. Hi. Are you feeling okay? Mm hmm? currently sitting on the ground as you can see in my PJs with Crystal right above me right here and Brandy laying next to me <laughs> I thought I would take this time to hang out with them for a little while since I'm out here anyway right and I get to keep an eye on her she's doing fine she's just standing here like a weirdo just relaxing I guess she's falling asleep over here <laughs> This flashlight is not helping anybody. I know it sucks. It's like in everyone's face, but like, how are you guys gonna see if I don't use the flashlight, right? But anyway, Brandy is totally falling asleep right now. She's making all these funny noises, huh? This is like so creepy. I think if I hold it up here, it's not as scary, but Crystal's like hovering right above me. This is so relaxing just being out here with them. <laughs> They're literally just like on me like i don't know if you guys can tell how close she is gucci just laid down over there like i said they all like to lay down together and brandy's just sleeping here like a little baby but yeah i love this anyway i'm just gonna stop recording for a little bit and hang out with them for a while all right you guys so i'm back inside i'm gonna sleep for a little bit i honestly think she's gonna be fine i think i'm gonna wake up around four and go out and check on her again it's currently 2 45 i think she was just napping and i completely interrupted her because once i sat down she was standing up the whole time just sleeping standing so i think she was just laying down and relaxing i don't think she was rolling because of colic so i'm gonna sleep for a little bit so good night <laughs> and i'll see you guys a little bit later when i check in Hey you guys, my alarm never went off. It's currently 7.30, I wanted to wake up at 4.30, but let's go ahead and see how she's doing outside. Oh, she just neighed at me for some food. Good morning. How are you feeling, sugar pie? Oh, you guys. I think she's gonna be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go inside and grab the last bag of ice and do the last ice bath for her. I honestly think she's gonna be fine. I'm so happy about that. Like this could have been really, really bad, but thankfully she's doing good. She just ate an ice cube. This is not 
out, working out. I need to give myself a break. This is not working out. All right, you guys, I had to come inside the trailer because it's just so bright outside. But, um, okay, I can't breathe. It's not working. She doesn't want to cooperate. I think it's because it's feeding time. So she's expecting food to come and she's being really impatient, looking around, moving around, neighing, like waiting for feeding time. She's too busy doing that to stay still and hold her feet in the buckets. I'm actually surprised that she did so well yesterday. I mean, I wasn't expecting it because I've never done that with her. I think she's going to be fine just because she hasn't shown any signs of anything. So I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to be taking her to the vet, I think tomorrow or the day after for her ultrasound and also to make sure everything's okay with the baby. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I will pop up the notification shout out up here on the screen. It sucks that I had to make this video, but it has a happy ending. So thank you guys for coming along. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so out of breath. I just like work out trying to do that. I'm already sweating. Oh my god, I look like a mess. I need to get inside and shower. I feel like I barely slept last night. I can't believe my alarm didn't go off, but thankfully she's looking good. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so I just woke up again. I actually already ended the vlog a couple hours ago. I ended it this morning, but I just realized that the farrier is coming today and it worked out perfectly because now I can ask him about the founder. I don't know, he might have a way to test for it to make sure she's doing good. So it was like such a great coincidence that he's here today. He actually just arrived a little while ago. So I thought I would vlog and kind of see if he can check Crystal since he's doing her, her feet anyway. It's currently 1 p.m. I think I spoke to you guys last at like 7.30 or something, but hi again. I'm still wearing the same shirt. I just threw on a hat. I've been sleeping all day because I just didn't sleep at all last night and I plan to come back to sleep right after he leaves. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm still wearing the same shirt and everything, it's because I, I just woke up. Yeah, let's go outside and see how she's doing, help the farrier out, and hopefully he has like a method to check for founder, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Do you, do you have ways to test for that as a farrier? At this early a stage, no. No? Yeah. It doesn't happen right away? There's no sign to it right away. How much is she? 15 pounds? Less than that. Oh, she's probably 